On this week's build showcase, we're looking at Patterson's Ford F-250. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take a look back at the build process. And then we're gonna come back and check out the full build showcase. Right now I'm working on my board with the 500 series, just get all my wires nice and straight so I could start making them neat. Right now they're a mess, but as soon as I'm done, they'll be nice, neatly zip tied, wired up. When you talk to a lot of people, they think we just slap some lights in, wire things up, and then they look into like this or in the back and they're like, oh, yeah, there's a lot more to it. We gotta remove the headliner, remove all panels that's inside, sometimes remove both chairs. You don't have to remove the seats, but it's much comfortable, especially when I'm working here. I'll sit right here and I don't have to be up against a chair. Right now, this is helping me. Before, it wasn't helping me. Right now, I'm cutting my Cat 5 from the light bar and to the control panel due to excessive length. The Cat 5 cable is a communication wire to the controller to the 500 or to the 500 to the light bar. So it talks to the light bar and gives you the activations, communication to, the, to both the light bar and controller. If you don't have that, you won't have the system. This is the final step and I will be almost done, ready to put the console in. Doing some 500 series programming on a central controller. It takes a couple hours just to go over everything, double check, make sure everything's correct. Matrixes, doors, levels, switches, upfitter switches. This is pretty much final of the build. After this, it gets clean, detailed, and uh, ready to get shipped to the customer. So what we're looking at is a 2022 Ford F-250. Uh, the vehicle originally was black. We painted it red to match their existing fleet of vehicles because they have a special color code. Vehicles purchased through the HGAC buy program, which allows you to purchase vehicles just like this. And roads light bar up top, graphics package to match their existing fleet, push bumper from Satina, four up front, one on each side, custom ordered. We did custom fender badges for them. We have the ARE cap. We got M powers on the rear side fender. Fire tech rear side scene lights. Flashlights mounted for them. In the compartments, we've got Blue C's uh, fuse panel so they can expand in the future as needed. Take a look at the back. We have the full lift up hatch door DCU model. M powers on the rear bumper, M powers up top. They all do the white override scene function. With our hatch lift up, you can see the sound off compartment lights tied into the blueprint with the help of a pin switch. We've got a slide master slide out tray with the IMS pull out lock. This truck is the extended cab model, so we have the suicide door. We have the underseat electronics compartments with our blueprint controller, our aftershock siren system. And then we have our center console with our USB outlets, our radio, and our siren and light controller. What we also did is we tied our upfitter switches into our blueprint control system for additional programmability. And then we also integrated a compartment open door indicator for all the cap doors. So when the vehicle shifts into drive, we give our drive response mode, which automatically shifts back to park and gives us our park flash pattern. If you have any questions about this vehicle or the HGAC buy program, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out with your next project.